In recent years, the numbers of salmon returning to our rivers has declined. Many anglers now practice catch and release, realising that by doing so, they're helping to sustain the fishery and safeguard salmon and wild trout stocks. Many anglers have at some stage released adult fish, for example, coloured fish close to spawning and kelts which are returning to sea. The chance of survival of a released fish depends on how it has been handled by the angler. A modern trend is to release fish that are in prime condition as a conservation measure. Extra care is required with very fresh silver fish as their scales and surface mucus, which are a primary defence against disease, are easily dislodged. If a companion is nearby, a photograph can be taken as you briefly lift the fish out of the water. If you're alone, a photograph can be taken of the fish in the net. When planning to return fish, it's advisable to use the appropriate hooks. Single hooks are much easier to remove than doubles or trebles. Barbless hooks are easier to remove than barb ones. If you do not have barbless hooks, you can flatten the barbs with pliers. Multi-hooked lures should not be used. The fish should be netted using a soft, knotless mesh net and kept in the water as much as possible. The more exposure to air, the more damage to the fish's gills. Be gentle and take care to wet your hands before handling the fish. Be careful not to squeeze it and under no account put your fingers under the gill covers. Never lift a fish by the tail. This causes spinal damage. Always lift, supporting with two hands. Play fish quickly. The more exhausted a fish becomes, the lower its chance of survival. Remove the hook immediately. This should be done with the fish remaining in the water. It's sometimes easier to cut the leader first and lay the rod aside so you can concentrate fully on looking after the fish. If there is someone with you, they can help by holding the net. If you're alone, you can support the handle of the net between your knees or perhaps use the riverbank or a rock to support the net rim or handle. The fish should be supported with two hands in the water for recovery, with the head held upstream to aid breathing. This may take some time depending on how tired the fish is, but be patient. When you feel the fish trying to swim away strongly, let it go. Catch and release is one of the most effective ways in which anglers can contribute to the future of their sport. If catch and release is carried out properly, incorporating the techniques mentioned in this video, the fish will have the greatest chance of going on to spawn.